Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turn is speaking to Jane Seymour about Harry Wild premiering on April 4th on Acorn TV. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, this is exciting, right? This is a really fun, cool project. I mean, the murder mystery, you know, from the experience of watching it, we're always on the edges of our seat because it's the whodunit component, everything. So the watching is always there. We're excited. What can you tell us about making them, making a show <laughs> like this? What's that like for you? Well, what's very exciting is I don't think we've ever had a, a detective or that isn't really a detective. She's actually a professor of English from Tr uh, Tr Trinity University in Dublin, and her son is a detective. Yep. Um, but she knows better than him who the bad guys are or what the clues are because she has a knowledge of, of history and English literature and the rest of it, and he won't listen to her. So basically, that's kind of the premise. Plus, uh, early on when she quits becoming a professor, and doesn't know what she's going to be. She gets mugged by this young kid who ultimately ends up becoming her sidekick. And he has knowledge from his part of the world, which is his father's um, an addict, alcoholic, uh, cr professional criminal and, and lives in that world. So um, when she is uh, trying to be a good detective, when she realizes that she knows stuff and her uh, her son, the detective, won't listen. Mm -hmm. She's in danger. So she needs this young 15-year-old to be there with her. So there's the two of us. We're a team, very unusual team. We haven't seen it before. It's very comedic. And the uh, the mystery uh, stories are very different. I've never seen any of those before. They're, and they're usually tied in some way to her knowledge of either history or uh, literature. Does the depth in terms of what the show is, you mentioned there's a comedy component to it. It's a murder and mystery component as well. Does the many layers attract you to a project like this as well? Very much so, yes. Because I think, you know, we're dealing with a, a woman, well, late 60s, early 70s, who's now changing her whole life. I mean, she's been an academic her whole life. Now, now she's running around with a stun gun and a 15-year-old kid from the street. Um, she, you see the dynamic between her and her son and her daughter-in-law, who she doesn't get along with, and her granddaughter, who she's determined to turn into a, an independent young woman. Um, we, we see um, a world that we haven't seen, really, in, yeah. in Ireland. Um, you know, no one ever really shows Ireland today very much. And, uh, yeah, it, it, and it's a lot of fun. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So well written. In terms of, you know, playing a character like this that we said, you know, it, there's a lot of complexity. There's a lot of layers. Looking at a lot of pro like projects and characters you played in the past, there have been a lot of different genres, uh, but a lot of different characters as well. How would you compare your experience playing Harry compared to other projects, Jane? Well, I have to say, although it's completely different from Dr. Quinn, when I read Dr. Quinn, I just knew who she was and I just... I just knew there was an audience for it immediately. Yep. And even the network didn't believe in it. <laughs> and they said, why are you telling everyone? I said, I just know there's people are going to love this character. She's a woman out of her time, you know, back in that time. And, and her message is the same today, sadly, as it was back then. I think with Harry Wilde, I think she's very much a woman of our times. Yep. And she's a very independent woman. You know, she, she had a child, but she never got married. She had a career and she quit when she wanted to. She lives life on her own terms um, and nothing faces her. You know, she's not afraid of anything. I mean, she's certainly not behaving like what she's supposed to be, which is a retired little old lady who goes <laughs> knitting, does bingo and has a cat. No, that's not Harry. And, you know, if Harry is attracted to a man in the pub, she will let him know and get on with it. Harry is then passionate as yes. well, like a passionate character. <laughs> She is. She's very passionate. She's very much alive, you know, and um, yep, there is, there's no uh, moss growing under her. No. A hundred percent. This is just a general question, but you could tie it into Harry Wilde. Jane Seymour's a storyteller. That's what you do, basically. What excites yeah. you about storytelling specifically? 
well, I love good stories and that's what I want to see. And I, I happen to enjoy crime on television, not in real life. So um, I love all of that. Mm -hmm. But what really excites me about storytelling is getting inside of the character, you know, especially when you're playing a bad person or an evil person. It's really kind of cool to figure out who are they? How did they get there? And why do they not care about these things? And, you know, I, I, I find storytelling, uh, I think it's an incredibly important part of the human condition. I mean, we've been storytelling since the Stone Age. So right. um, people want to tell stories and stories are invariably um, are wonderful for us when we feel a connection, an emotional connection to the characters and we go along with them. We go, oh, I wonder what I would have done if I was that person. So yeah. that's why I like No, it's very well said. I think also to add to that too, so many different stories now are finally being told and stories that weren't told are finally being told as well. Oh my gosh. I mean, there is, uh, there is uh, no lack of stories. And I think, you know, having something like Acorn TV, where if you love Harry Wilde, you know, obviously you, we're making you wait. You watch the first two one week, then the next two yeah. the next week. But, you know, you can binge it to some degree. And if you love that genre, you'll know there'll be more like it there. And, you know, same if you want something edgy, you find HBO Max. If you want something, whatever it is, you know, it, it, it's just unbelievable the amount of different and extraordinary material that's out there. And whereas it used to be you either did film or theater or television, now, you know, it's you can do it all. And But there isn't that much great material for people in my age. And this is amazing an amazing gift to have at this time and people are going to see it april 4th on acorn tv it's premiering there and very quickly you also were an executive producer on it that's pretty cool getting to wear many hats on the project yeah very much so um i met dave logan who created it uh, right off the bat um we met actually to talk about it over a, a glass of wine in uh, in London in a in a in a bar, and we were there four hours later and realized that we both knew who Harry was, and she definitely drank too much red wine. So it was established immediately that Harry drank red wine, and we went from there. <laughs> um, but uh, no, he he's an amazing, amazing writer, and uh, and. You know, I love to write too, but not, not nothing like her, him. But I can bring anecdotal stories and and tell him kind of ideas and thoughts of characters and people and 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 he really kind of honed it into me. For example, Harry, in the middle of dire circumstances, will tell uh, Fergus that his pronunciation or his his grammar's wrong, and she'll just fix it for him and keep moving. It's like really, I do that. Unfortunately, I do that to my children. It's it's the bane of their lives, you know. Jane, I wanted to thank you so much for your time. Harry Wilde, yep. April 4th on Acorn TV. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.